Hi, I'm Adam, one of the tour directors of the Big Journey Company, and I'm here in the beautiful English Lake District, preparing for the Kilimanjaro trek. Our tour starts long before we land in Tanzania, with the preparation and training that we do to get us ready for the challenge of climbing Kilimanjaro. If you're thinking of joining us on this amazing journey, then I hope you're considering doing the same. These training walks that we do allow us to prepare both physically as well as making sure we have the right kit and well-worn in boots to help us with the challenge ahead. When we land in Tanzania, we start our trip with a little luxury. This is also your chance to meet your guides and your fellow guests you'll be spending the next week with. So we met the guys yesterday and we had a great night's sleep at the Serena Hotel. We're all feeling fresh and ready. We're just loading up our bags with the porters now. We're gonna head to the Mashami Gate, ready to start our trek. We're all psyched and I think we're ready to go. We start our trek from the Mashami Gate and spend our first day trekking through the jungle up to Camp One, where we meet our porters for the first time. As we embark on our journey, we leave the jungle behind and we spend the next four days taken in Kilimanjaro's changing landscape. It's absolutely beautiful. The sunset is beautiful. Um, the different climates that we're seeing, the, the rainforest in the beginning, and then it's opened up to a really nice area. Um, in the beginning, I probably psyched myself out, thinking it would be really hard, but it's poly poly, slowly. We all start as a group, we end as a group, and we stop and take breaks, so it's a doable thing. might be slow but I'm still gonna make it. I can't believe for the small group that we have you know that they have uh, 28 uh, porters and yeah. other support people that are taking care of us it's just incredible um, watching them uh, put up camp and, and tear it down well actually we don't usually see them put it up because they get here so quick but yeah. uh, tearing it down and uh, just hiking right past us uh, with a with, smile all the time with, with a, a smile, smile. yes all the time with the joking and the laughing and the you know just having a great time. So here we are with three days into our trek. Uh, we had a really tough day trekking today, seven hours. Uh, the whole team did really well. I'm so proud of them. Uh, and it's times like this that make it all worth it. The night sky tonight is incredible. You can see the Milky Way to the naked eye and it's just mind blowing. There's so much logistically involved in the whole thing. So having Diamond to take care of all that for you and Big Journey companies taking care of that for you makes it seamless from getting to the airport and having somebody greet you there. You don't have to worry about anything and that is a first class service to me. That was really great. Uh, we're on our way up to base camp now, which is Kosovo camp. Uh, we should be there for about lunchtime. We're going to be up at midnight, um, trekking through the night, hopefully to make it up to the summit for dawn. So by this time tomorrow, we'll have been up there. Fingers crossed. Getting a cup of coffee and getting some breakfast uh, in us, getting some fuel, and then it'll be uh, five hours up to the ridge in the dark. And then uh, hopefully we'll be summiting uh, around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Summit day! <laughs> How you feeling, Jilly? Great! How you feeling, Mike? Oh, ready to get going. <laughs> good, good, good! Alright! The summit push is by far the biggest challenge we'll encounter on our journey. Walking through the night in sub-zero temperatures with over a thousand meters to climb. We need to move slowly and as a team and keep the summit in our sights.
As the team reaches the summit for sunrise, we realize all this effort has been worth it.